The, um, on Saturday morning, I think everybody was present uh, for our annual police honors program, and I just want to take this occasion and say, Chief Green, that uh, once again it was just the, absolutely the most impressive program that uh, we could imagine in our community. The, the job that you and your officers do is just so commendable, and we really appreciate it. Uh, and you know, this year in particular, with some of the difficult things, uh, Tim Jones's um, <coughs> incident and, and other things, it's been a challenge to the department, but uh, uh, the professionalism certainly has come through. And that's true um, in large part because of the kind of leadership that is provided. So I want to commend you and the deputy chiefs for the, the good job that you do. And, and once again, for the public, that if you don't have a chance to uh, to, to come to, the, to one of these events, you're missing out on a major opportunity to see um, some of the good work that's done in our community because um, the stories that are told <coughs> of the various uh, mm -hmm. incidents and how they've been handled and the public's interaction with the police department is just so commendable. I have to tell you, though, that several people asked me afterwards if there was a videotape available of the program if it was being tape recorded, and I don't know whether it is or was or not, but um, but then I also on at church on Sunday had a lady come up to me and ask me if there was any way she could get a DVD of the slideshow that you folks showed during the program. Is that available? Is it? I think it's up on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll tell her that next Sunday that she can just go to YouTube and see it. Yeah. Okay. Very good. But it was obviously very impressive because people wanted, you know, yeah. they wanted to have something to, that they could, could remind themselves with. It. So, the thirteenth um, annual police department uh, honors ceremony. I'd like to congratulate everyone, uh, all the police officers, the uh, fire paramedics who are honored, and also Tim Jones for being the 2016 awardee. Um, it was very emotional at points, and I, I certainly wish, though, all the residents would have been able to see the slideshow. It was phenomenal. Great job, Chief Pete. My comment on the, I did attend the police department honor ceremony and I'm sure there are other words to describe it, but just I can't get the word inspiring out of my head because that's really what it is to me. Um, between, as the mayor had said about the stories, the video, um, and I did see on Facebook, I think they did put a link for the video. I will watch it again, but I think I need a little bit of time <laughs> to recover from the first. Um, it was very emotional, um, but it was also very enjoyable and, and entertaining almost in the beginning. So yes, I definitely want to watch it again, and I appreciate uh, that being available. So kudos to um, your whole department because it um, every year it's, it, I don't know how it can get better, but it does. So uh, thank you for that. As I, I, as I said to, to you, Chief, this event has always <laughs> been at the top of my list, and I don't think I've missed one in I don't know how many years. So, um, And I'm always impressed with the performance of our police, our police men and women, um, along with those citizens that are out there watching and keeping their eyes open. But I have to say that this was the top, <laughs> it was the top. It was the top for several reasons, not just because it, uh, you know, there was a, yeah, there was a very emotional aspect and, and um, having Tim Jones' father come and accept his awards um, and, and, and he spoke about that next year, Tim will be here to, to accept his own awards, which um, I think, you know, I look forward to. Um, but it was just the other kinds of things that went on. Um, <clears throat> I think that our police department is by far the top. You are the epitome. And while people may find faults with little things here and there, you know, they can't compare to what uh, the leadership that you provide, you and your other, and your commanders, 
and the, the, the role model that you provide for your officers. And they are just, um, they follow, they follow that. And that's a good thing. I mean, that's the kind of thing that, um, you know, that we want for our community. And it's the kind of thing that I really do wish that more people were there to see just the kinds of challenges that, and, and all of the work that goes in and protecting our citizens within this village and, and also assisting other towns in when they have challenges. So um, I do recommend that, you know, those of you that do YouTube and things like that to go on and watch the video because it, was, it really was a nice snapshot of the days of, of within the police department. Um, and you can, of course, lead out, leave out our fire department who, so in conjunction, you two work together to protect the citizens here in the village of Park Forest. And I really do, um, I appreciate it, and I, I highly thank you and all, of your, and all of your people for what you do for this village. Um, you know, I'm getting, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I have a drink of water. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't supposed to. Uh <laughs> Thank you. Any other comments? Sister um. Graham? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and thank you, Ms. Trustee Brandon. Um, I'm not even going to try to even go there because I don't want to get emotional <laughs> as I told you earlier. I mean, this that was that was a very emotional event and it was very, very nice. Ah, now, last but not least, I see a great greatest, greater and then greatest. Uh, the the police uh, ceremony was super phenomenal, uh, just like all of my uh, peers up here have already mentioned. Uh, the amazing thing, I talked with the village manager earlier today, the amazing thing about this, uh, well, so many of them, but so many things are going on right now. Uh, uh, people are, uh, uh, well, here in our own town, we had the situation they had uh, with Tim uh, Jones, uh, better known as Tim Strong, and then the, all of the news that where uh, people have been getting shot and unarmed and, you know, all of this craziness. So it was same ideal for you all to do this ceremony right now. But you all have been doing this for almost two decades. This wasn't something that was just put together to try to uh, say, hey, this, you know, trying to uh, uh, make people have a, a Band-Aid over one. This has been going on for almost two decades, and it's done with so much class, it's pathetic. Uh, the other thing is, uh, Chief, uh, what, the, what I really like about this program that's been going on for almost two decades is you all are not selfish. You all are sharing this spotlight, and people have a problem with sharing a spotlight. You all are sharing this spotlight with regular, everyday citizens, which are our constituents. You all are sharing and giving them awards. I mean, who does that? You know, so I just wanted to say, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's words to really... Uh, identify uh, what you guys do. Uh, the ceremony is something else. Uh, <coughs> my son, he want to own his own business, but at the same token, he definitely want to be a police and to see you all do the things that you do, he's, he's all so, so wrapped up in it. So what Dash did is uh, he said that he wanted to do something special for you. So he had uh, went into his allowance and took out some money and I matched his money and he wanted to give you a certificate to his favorite restaurant. Dash, you could do that now. <laughs> and he was also saying thanks for the four uh, Tim Jones uh, buttons that you gave him. And just for myself, uh, I'd like to salute you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you.